Hello everybody! Welcome back to my channel. We are here with another part of the Lepacy Challenge and I just have a few quick things I want to talk about really, really fast before we fully jump into the gameplay. So I know of quite a few parts ago when I introduced three new men into the town for Taryn's potential love interest, a lot of you guys were Team Grey. You said you liked Grey, you thought she should be with Grey, um, and that was who you picked. But when it came down to Taryn actually going out and meeting them, can she use the stairs? Damn it. I thought that was part of like the, the uh, mod that I had. Ugh. Anyways, when it came down to Taryn actually meeting them, we could not find Gray for the life of us. We could not find him, so she really bonded with Adam here. Please ignore his looks. I got some new CC and apparently um, <laughs> apparently I need to fix his his outfits uh, because my new CC actually I have the Grim Reaper outfit and then I also like fully nude Sims, which I did not realize. I did not get that on purpose. Um, I install full Sims to get all the CC that they come with, because in my opinion, that's easier than getting each piece individually. And one of the Sims must have come with that stuff. So anyways, you guys were fully Team Grey, but we couldn't find Grey. So then we built this friendship with Adam. And then you guys were like, well, actually, I really like Adam. So feel free to go with Adam. Um, but then we met Grey. And then I was like, OK, I kind of do like Grey, though. So we're stuck between these two men. We're stuck between Grey and Adam. And I just got to thinking, I was like, you know what? It's totally Taryn's personality to be back and forth with two men. Also, I'm going to just teleport her up here because I do not want to have Taryn pick her up and bring her up and all this jazz. So it's totally like Taryn to kind of be torn between these two men. So I'm going to let it stick. However, with that being said, personally, I liked Adam better. So I have a game plan in mind. If you guys didn't notice when I went over Adam's character, he is married. He has a wife named Stella. Um, and he actually moved out of the house he lived in with Gray and River. Who's having a party? An old lady. Okay, cool. So he actually lives here now. I cannot with that freaking Grim Reaper clothes. He lives here with his wife, and his wife is actually pregnant, and they no longer have a good relationship. Um, in my mind, it was one of those, you know, we met, we got together really fast, she ended up getting pregnant, so we decided to get married, and then Adam kind of realized, like, I fucked up because I shouldn't have married her. Um, I don't want to be with her kind of thing, but she's having my child. So I feel like I have to stay with her is kind of where Adam's head is at. So I think I want Adam and Taryn to become romantically involved. And then maybe Taryn will see that he has a wife and a baby. We'll just pretend she doesn't know about that right now. So Taryn will see that he has a wife and a baby. And to get revenge, she will start dating Gray. That is, at this moment in time, that is my plan. Um, we will see, we'll see what comes from there because that's about as far as I got. So yes, basically we need to get romantically involved with Adam. And then after his baby is born, Taryn will find out that, you know, he's got a baby and everything. And then we will run off and start dating Gray. I actually don't know if Gray is in a relationship or anything. So hopefully he doesn't end up in a relationship because that would kind of, um, that would kind of throw a huge wrench in my plans. I can't believe Hope didn't get, oh, I don't have generations. That's why I was about to say, I can't believe Hope didn't get an imaginary friend, but she can't get an imaginary friend when I don't have generations. That makes so much sense. Okay, so then I'm also going to have Rascal try for puppies with Goose. I am very, very excited to have these puppies, you guys. You have no idea. All right, Adam. He should be here soon. It really should not take him that long. Hello? Adam, you said you were coming over. He said he was coming over, right? 
Did I read that wrong? D you adopted a kitten, Adam. I fucking hate you. Get your ass over here. Invite over. That kitten is staying with your wife if you end up leaving her, because I don't want her. Okay? I don't want a kitten. He better get his ass over here, otherwise I'm going to be so mad. Sure, I'll come over in a little while. Okay, so come over then. That is literally my only plan for the day. Also, um, Hope ages up tomorrow, and Taryn goes back to work for the first time um, almost ever. <laughs> So, uh, yeah. It's actually kind of great timing, though, because when she goes back to work, Hope becomes a child. Oh, no. You know what? Hope will be in school while Taryn's at work. Well, that just kind of canceled each other out. I was going to say we'll have someone to, like, play with while Taryn's at school because Hope is a child. But, no, we actually won't. Did you feed her? Okay. Adam, I'm pissed. Where are you? He's still at home. You know what? We're showing up at their house, and we're going to form a group with him, and then we're going to just leave with him. What the f- What is this? Why are there stairs right here? <laughs> what the hell? I have no idea what that is. Um, okay, that's awesome. I will say this house, I wonder if maybe it's glitched. Oh, call a babysitter. Call a babysitter. I wonder if maybe the house is glitched. Um, this house actually came... Ooh, yeah, I wonder if maybe they can't use the stairs. Maybe that's what's happening. So this house actually came, like, when I downloaded my new custom content to my game. This just, like, popped up with Stella, a part of it, and then... Um, this house all came like together. So I'm wondering if maybe this house is glitched and that's why he's not showing up. Because they're technically in the basement. Like that's where their bedroom is. Huh? Oh! <laughs> Rascal and Goose tried for puppies and they are officially pregnant. Thank goodness. Yeah, I'm thinking this house like they might be stuck in the basement let me see oh naked girl don't look at that <laughs> hold on don't look at her <laughs> it's just a butt crack we're okay <laughs> oh my god and then let's get him out of that grim reaper outfit okay perfect yeah i wonder if they can't use the stairs i wonder if that's the issue let me try and turn them, maybe. Taryn learned that Adam doesn't have a whole lot of money. Yeah, that's awesome, Taryn. Because, I mean, technically, that, sh that should be what we care about. Because she's a gold digger, but, you know. Okay, let me turn that, and then... Hello? Okay. Maybe they can use the stairs now. Come to me. Can he use the stairs now? Come on, Adam. I'm so confused. Why? Okay, where'd he go? I just reset him. Let me do it to her, too. Yeah, they must, like, it mu this house must be glitched and they can't get into the basement. So, unfortunate, but it is what it is. And then we're also going to have you come to me, and then I'm going to go ahead and close this back up. Otherwise, it does cause problems in your game. Come on. Thank you. Perfect. All right, let's greet him, and then we're going to ask him on a date, and then we're going to go somewhere. We're going to just pretend we don't see Stella. Okay, just, <laughs> just pretend we don't see her. All right, let's form a group. And then I am going to take him off this lot before we do anything romantic, because, you know. Obviously, his wife is here, and even though they may not have a good relationship, I don't want them to get caught. Oh, shoot. No, pick me up, please. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Let's go. 
honestly, I don't really care to go anywhere anyways, so we're just gonna go across the street to the pool. Wait, can they both be inside in the same place? Because usually the pools have, like, gender-specific bathrooms, so you can't both be inside. Let me see. Hello? Can you load, please? Um, yeah, you know what? We can be up here. Go here with the group. It's right across the street, but we'll just pretend that his wife isn't going to be able to see us. We'll pretend. It's fine. Yeah, can you please put us to bed? Sleeping. Oh, that's right. I forgot with the mod. I can just, she can literally just fall asleep anywhere. I forgot about that. I love that. Okay, so now we are out of the rain and we're also out of sight from his wife. So we're going to go ahead and flirt with him. Hopefully, because I did drag down his relationship with his wife, he will take the flirting like right away. Oh, period, bitch. Love him. <laughs> Give him an amorous hug. Compliment his appearance. Compliment his personality. She wants to have a great date. And I know um, Taryn... Because of her past, she isn't really going to care that he's married. She's not going to care that she started as, like, a side piece for Adam. For her, it's more so about, like, well, you wouldn't leave your wife for me, so I'm going to go off and get a boyfriend to spite you is kind of what she's thinking. And then I don't remember if I said this or not, but I did also age Adam up into an adult, so that way he is older than us. Girl, wake up. Oh, my God, whatever. Okay, let's go ahead and have our first kiss. I'm actually really excited for this moment. I think this is the first... I don't... Come on. I just took the long way around to do that, didn't I? I think this is genuinely the first person I've been, like, excited for Taryn to be with. Obviously, I didn't really care about her and Travis. Obviously, I didn't really care about... What was his name? Shing? Let me see. Oh, wait. He's dead, isn't he? Yeah, he's dead. Never mind. Obviously, I didn't care about her and Travis. I didn't really care about her and Shing, but her and Adam, I actually really like them together. So let's go ahead and embrace him. Somebody else is here, which like, why? And take a romantic photo together. And then I'm actually curious. Oh, these aren't even bathrooms? Oh, we could have been way more secluded then. Okay, I kind of just assumed they were bathrooms. Hmm. There's no bathrooms here. At the pool. Which in turn means there's nowhere to woohoo. Alright, Adam, looks like you're coming home with us. Looks like you're coming home with us. Alright, let's take our romantic photo together. And then he's going to come back to our house. Because that's exactly what you should do, is bring a strange man that you just started dating back to your house where your child is. It's exactly what you should do. Anyways, <laughs> we're gonna go here with our date, and then where are you sleeping? Girl, wake up. Wake up and play with your blocks, because I want to see if you're done with them or not. I do love the fact that I can just have her sleep anywhere. That's actually really nice. Okay, go play with your blocks, but I think she can only do it if she's tired, like, to the point where she gets the tired moodlet. Also, I didn't realize this was, like, un... This is, like, going through the... Okay, never mind. <laughs> Who cares? Who cares? All right, it looks like she's done with that, so I'm actually going to have her come over here and play with these blocks. And we are on our way home with Adam. Our little boo thing. I'm excited. And Goose is about to have puppies. I mean, not about to. She just tried for her puppies. But she's going to have puppies soon. I swear to God, did Adam not come with us? I hate his bitch ass. Did he stay at the pool? Because I'll just do a, a come to me thing, you know? Is he here at the pool? Hello? Adam? Hello? Okay, he's not at the pool. Did you go home? Wait, let me see. Is it Stella inside? Okay. Where did he go? Well, I know he's not with us because we can't, we can call him. 
You can't call people that are on the same lot as you. Fun fact, if you didn't know, that's a good way to check. Um, yeah, you can't, oh, there he is, okay. Sim control, come to me. Okay, good to know he mostly came to our house. He got pretty close. You know, we'll count it. Also, I don't know why my game is loading. What the fuck is on your face? Ain't no goddamn way that's on your face right now. No. Why is everything Grim Reaper? S special? I do not want to give you- Oh, he's- Boy. Ew. Ew. <laughs> Put that face paint back on. Disgusting. Disgusting. There's only one reason why they would be here. Let's be real. So we're going to go ahead and woohoo with him. Um, apparently, I need to, first of all, get rid of whatever CC is ruined my game with the Grim Reaper. Um, but then second of all, I need to give him a full-blown makeover. Like, full-blown. The only thing I did was age him up. That was it. I didn't, like, change anything. Because normally their hair would change, you know what I mean? And his hair didn't change. So I was like, oh, we're, we're Gucci. We're good. We're lit. We don't got to worry about that. <sighs> Apparently we do got to worry about that. All right, Taryn, let's get your married man. Get your married man. I'm kind of excited, actually, to see what Adam's baby is going to look like. And then I do really want to do, like, um, if she ends up with Adam and he's the one she has a kid with, I do want them to do the whole, like, shared custody thing with the kid that Adam is going to have with his wife, Stella. You know, have that baby live with us for, like, can we just go up the stairs? Thank you. Anyways, have that baby live with us for like three days and then go back to the mom's house for like three days and then back with us like every three days just kind of switching where the kid lives. I think that would be really fun. And it would also add to the game because again, Taryn is only having two children. That's it. She's going to have another baby with either Adam or Gray. Haven't decided for sure which one. And then that's it. She's not having any more kids. Okay, no, I can't. This is not happening. Absolutely not. Okay, I could not stand to look at that Grim Reaper any longer. So I gave him just the quickest makeover possible. All of his options are like full outfits. So I only had to load into one thing. But anyways, we're going to go ahead and woohoo with him because it's not an official romantic involvement until you get a woohoo in obviously i'm just kidding by the way i don't genuinely think that but yeah at this point we're still gonna play on the whole taryn has no idea he has a wife thing she's just kind of you know it's a friend she met a couple days ago and they're having fun because in her mind they're both single um, I think I'm going to wait until after the baby's born for her to find out that he has a whole wife and a kid. So it should happen in a, about two, two and a half days. I'm thinking um, Tuesday morning. Yeah, I think Tuesday morning is when the baby should be born, Adam's baby and everything. We're also going to go ahead and end the date because... We don't need to keep the date going any longer. It is 8 p.m. and she does have her very first day of work. Um, not very first day, but first day in a long time. In the morning, she has to leave at 6 in the freaking morning for work. So that's going to be... That's going to be interesting. Um, but yeah, she's basically going to get herself ready for bed. Because again, she has to work so early tomorrow. And also, Hope is going to become a child tomorrow, which is really exciting. Um, and then also with the fact that it's spooky day on Tuesday, we are not going to have to worry about work or anything. So we're going to throw a birthday party for Hope. We'll have it start at four, just so it'll start right around the time Taryn comes home from work. We'll have Adam come over. We'll have Gray come over. Um, we'll have the whole family come over as well. And yeah, it'll be super fun. So that's going to be in the next part. And then the part after that is going to be spooky day. So a lot of really fun stuff coming up. And then also on Spooky Day, that's when Taryn is going to find out about Adam's wife and baby. And then we'll kind of switch gears and we'll keep our romantic involvement with Adam, but we'll kind of switch gears 
and focus a little bit more on gray. So I know this part wasn't super eventful. We didn't, I, I feel like we didn't do a whole lot. I feel like I ran into more problems than anything, but I hope you guys enjoyed anyways. Um, if you did, let me know with a thumbs up, commenting down below and subscribing, and I will see all of your lovely, lovely faces in my next one. Bye guys.